What, how do I use this thing? Well, we have two energy cells, technically. So here's what my thought process is. See, my thought process is, because look at this one. See how it's all input currently? What we could do is we could connect it so that the inputs, it inputs and outputs into the system so it just has an, a buffer of whatever amount of energy. Two million, that's a lot of energy. And it's going to be a buffer of four million since we got two. Let's not plug this into the system just yet, right. but eventually we will. For now, let's leave it in the chest. I might be. What am I doing uh, next? Wood and energy. Furnace generators. Alright, iron, redstone, a furnace, and a machine block, which is iron, redstone, and a chest. How much redstone we need for that? Oh, well, I have a tw well, I have, four, tw well, I have 28, so. I think it's 10. I think it's 10 we need. Well, I have, so, well, I have redstone. Well, either way, it's around 10 is how much we need for that. Another thing to notice that I need to be collecting this mineral salt. Magnesium, no, I got a lot of certain. I don't know what I have a drawer for sodium chloride. Salt. Uses of iron okay. is to make iron. So, how much magnesium am I going to need for the magnesium oxide? And how much? I uh, 80 magnesium oxide. How much do I need for that? One per, so I need 80 magnesium. How much oxygen do we got? I'm probably just going to have to make new more ant. More. I'm probably just gonna have to make more antimatter at this rate. You don't make antimatter. Well, you do. No, you mine it. Well, technically, you do. A uh, hundred and sixty. Okay, so we have enough oxygen for two of these. Flip. Hang on, I'm gonna get some more. Oxygen and other stuff like that. How much iron do I need for this? Let's see. Nine. I'm still a bit short. Just, just a little bit. I already filled up all these drawers. Slot. Either way. Okay, there's that. I will fill up all the drawers. Eventually really wish we just save our Well, I filled up the hydrogen drawers. Hydrogen. It yeah. exists. And then another one. Actually, how much is it for an upgrade? It's... It's here. Storage upgrade 1. City. Storage upgrade 2 is iron. And we have iron. If I had iron ore, I could actually be get a lot more iron. Yes, this is true. Alright, I'm gonna go oh, mine things. Take, like, four iron and make a storage upgrade. So, specifically, hydrogen. Such. I am so mining things. things. Two mining ingots there. We're gonna need a lot more iron for the first generators as well. Because we're gonna need enough. That's like ten. Shocking! All roads lead back to iron. Eighteen? No, fourteen. So it makes four at a time.
case. I sticks and the upgrade table, which means a drawer. Luckily, I could use any old drawer. So I'm gonna make a one slot drawer. So that's probably gonna take less work. Why'd you say Mortal Kombat in chat? To confuse you. Fair enough. Fair also, enough. it's currently the, my, the main thing I'm interested in at the moment. I literally had exactly enough sticks to make one storage upgrade of the iron variety. Oh no, my pickaxe broke. Which can this is, so now the hydrogen can hold, thing can hold four times the amount as it normally could. I think the copper one's full as well, so I'm gonna need to make another one of those. Uh, where am I there is nothing here? interesting about the. We have we are talking about nothing interesting at the moment, so I'm probably gonna cut most of this out. Cause all I'm doing is digging, and that's less inter interesting. I believe we mentioned mortal. See that? That's why I did most of the stuff mining offline, a bunch of mining offline, because no one wants to see a lot of mining. Unless we are, unless we have been something interesting to talk about, it's not gonna. Then yeah. Fair I mean, enough. we could talk Fair about enough. Minecon since that did just came up, come up, just get. Oh yeah, Minecon Live! I love that they're adding the swamp. That was what I voted for. That's I don't know if I voted for it at the time because I'm, I don't know my, the the really amount I was on Twitter at a point was weird. I don't think I actually voted. I think my thoughts were if I could vote, I would vote for this. But ah. we got mountains instead of that, and honestly, that was the one I was reading against most because it seemed the most boring. The stupidest reason people told me, I I heard people saying for why we shouldn't vote for swamp is the fact that why do we need boats and chests? We got could be and mine carts, and I'm like, well, yeah, you'd rather mine carts. Mine carts require than a boat. Here's the thing: mine carts require, um, well, tracks, obviously. Also, you can't get in with them, so you have to on get so many powered rails to fix that up, so it actually exactly. works. As a result, boats, on the other hand, don't only need water, and heck, sometimes don't, and you can get in with them. There is literally all there is more benefits to having a boat and a chest than or a chest and a boat than there is for a mine freaking minecart and chest. Yeah. That's... I have a pink jar. Jesus Christ, what have you been putting in my freaking st chemical dissolver? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I have I was trying to split it up so we could save on power. That's fair, but also I kind of need to eat mine, so I'm going to take all this out. Take it all out and put it in the drawer. I will in a moment. There's a lot more space in there now, four times as much, which should be at least 2,000. <laughs> So the amount of a one slot storage drawer. Alright, oxygen yeah. goes there, hydrogen goes there, again. We could just right click the controller, like double click it as well, and then bam, everything goes where it belongs. Well, I already put everything back where it belongs, so. That's okay. Here we go. I got so much mineral salt. I did not get much iron from all the, from doing from my from harvesting that stuff. Eh, it's fine. To be fair, you get more iron from tungsten. Because if you combine the tungsten with the an with some white antimatter, then you can basically guarantee better chances of iron. I'm gonna be honest. I did not remember tungsten was a thing that was useful. It's very useful. But uh, back to the Minecraft talk. Out of the votes that were available, frog. Out of the votes that were available back whenever the swamp vote was a thing, uh, the only other one I was okay with the Badlands because we've we've discussed this many times. I've just we've brought this up in Discord yeah. several times, but uh, desert's kind of lacking a quite a lot. It does, and that's kind of why I've been supportive of it. Heck, in the vote. Like, I think roughly three or four years ago, I don't even remember, it was Deserts, Taiga, and Savannah that were the options. Yeah. And I remember Blue Jay wanted the ostrich, and I would actually agree, because having an animal that we can actually ride and control, that just sounds I fun. I remember the meerkat, that was fun. Meerkats I would have been okay with, honestly, they're, they're chill. That was the desert. I uh, think so much magnesium. 
be fair, it's not as hard to get magnesium because I literally use pink antimatter in my inventory for that. Black antimatter used for. You can use it to get aluminum? How did I not know this? How do you know things? These are the questions. Uh, because. That works. Alright, so. Yeah. Honestly, in the first biome vote I ever saw, which I think may be the actual first biome vote, <laughs> um, I actually did not have a problem with any of the biomes. I thought Taiga was cool with berries and foxes, and I like the idea of the desert yeah. savannah gang updates. Cool. Yeah. But I don't know why, I'm just not a fan- I just was not a fan of the mountain update. Yeah, I just, in my opinion, it gave us, I gotta say, the biggest reason, and in my opinion, the only reason people voted for it, is because they were like, oh, if we get the mountain update, then that'll guarantee us the cave update that we've always wanted. And it kind of did. Well, there's no guarantees that we wouldn't have gotten. We kind of- To be fair, actually, if you think about it, if you think about it like this, if Swamp had gotten voted instead of Mountain, I really wonder what they would have done. The Caves and Cliffs would, update would, we would be have gotten in the wild one dot nineteen, and we'd have the wild update with one dot eighteen and seventeen. With Actually, it might just be one dot seventeen. And then one dot eighteen and nineteen would be the Caves and Cliffs update. That's what would have happened in another timeline. In another timeline. Cause that's how, cause that's how we function at this point. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna need to mine over a lot of white antimatter right now, so. Oh yeah, pet scene for your audience. I should probably just switch to my to my iron pickaxe. I'm switched once I run out of stone sharpening kits. To be honest. That's kind of what I was thinking of. Uh, so honestly, the only reason I was kind of in support of the mountain update was I thought that goats were going to be similar to cows. I thought they were going to be similar to sheep and cows. That would be so useful. Like, come on. Come on, we all know goat milk's a thing. It basically makes sheeps and cows obsolete. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, though, they could have... Honestly, the fact that we can't eat the goats just makes me disappointed. The only passive mob we can't eat. We can't eat bats. Bats aren't a mom. They, they, no one talks about bats. We can't eat parrots. Uh, those are just small chickens. Then how can we can't eat them? If they're small chickens, we can eat them. Oh, right. Oh, I just, the moment I realized I have over 100 <coughs> magnesium still, like, getting rid of this stuff. Mm. Uh, I mean, it has now reached the point where it gets a roar all its own. Should I mention the fact that I really don't, that the warden actually scares me? I'm not scared of the wither, I'm not scared of the ender dragon, the warden actually scares me. I have... Magnesium. Let me turn these magnesium units back into magnesium so I can actually go ahead and do this. Damn. Okay. So, 64. See, if I remember so right, if, I, if I'm remembering this right. Hey, I remembered right. Nice. Shit. My dogs are going insane for some reason. Uh. Each, and that should get us 80 magnesium oxide. I like how we actually split from quests. It made things. It makes things a little. It, it gives us each a chance just to do stuff. It does. I just realized I didn't claim anything from the missions you've completed. Yeah. Ooh, I got a builder's one. What the heck do I do with a pink generator? Uh, just plug it into one of the cow power outlet things. It uses anything pink for power, so. I do one. I pink will. You generate power. Uh, I, I one time knew one YouTuber that would love that. I, I know pink antimatter is something you can put in. Sadly, I don't uh, think so. 
magnesium oxide you can put in. Alright, so let's back to what I was doing. Lime. Pink lamp. Oh, wait, I need two furnace generators, don't I? Pink. What? Crap. Yeah, need I, need, I need to craft two furnace generators, so that means I'm going to need to be... I'm going to be yeah, digging pink for... Anti -matter. I'm going to be digging for a bit. 400 RF in total. I think yeah, everything generates the RF tick with 400 RF in total. Okay, my dogs are seriously driving me crazy. I don't know what their deal is. Yeah, everything in the ping, no matter what, the ping generator always generates 40 RF per tick. Is that better than the culinary generator? No, it actually is not. You know, I wonder why the Minecraft music has kicked in. That would be actually a good time to have it to drown out the noises that is in my house. Uh, touche. Sorry, I could pull up some music on rhythm. Nah, I don't want to get copyrighted or whatever the frankly the right term is. I'd make sure it wasn't copyrighted and I have experience that. I mean, I haven't even cared yet. I, I actually care. had to delete one of, uh, delete something being specific. Because I couldn't edit anything at the time. I could because I was streaming Kingdom Hearts and its music is kind of iffy, and I couldn't edit it at the time. I actually ended up having to delete the whole for whole video just to avoid, well, you know, death. Oof. Yeah. Now that death by copyright. I actually, luckily enough, Twitch tells me when uh when something Kyron's thing so I can edit it out. Thank God on that. Yeah. Cause I do plan on going back to stream Kingdom Hearts again in the near future, possibly after October when I'm done with Outlast and Spider Man PS4, which I actually have to redo my last week's stream on because my internet went completely nuts and did not transmit vi the video properly. First thing I can use like Nothing is going right for me on the Spider-Man world right now. Portable tank. How easy is that to craft? That is copper, glass, iron, and let's go. I don't know what this iron wand does, but I bet it's not magical. I'm not sure if I can use this like a bucket or not, but I really hope so. So let's see, how do I... Again, I need copper. I'm playing that. You probably get copper by making copper. Glass, uh, iron, and redstone. Do you have any redstone left over? So it would just be so much easier if I could just grab a whole bunch of water all at once instead of just one bucket at a time. If only you could. If only. Because that'd make things so much easier until we can automate the pumping of water into these evaporators. Alright, anyway, so back to Minecraft Live. I think it's safe to say that you and I basically, we we win. We got everything we'd want in that. Yeah, we got the LA, which we both voted for. We got the swamp. Pretty sure most of wanted. our Discord group voted for the LA. Yeah, the LA was first, and then I was the only one who put the glare in last. Glare was legitimately something I thought would be interesting, and it was mentioned in Minecraft Live that if it got voted in, they would have adjusted it a bit, so that way it would help you light up areas. And I thought, oh, that's actually... Give it torches, and then it lights up the area for you. That'd be epic. Or it lights the... Or you make glow berries actually better, and actually use those to glow things up. Or glow everything. Ooh, what if you could feed the glare glow berries, and then it like, lights up an area for a... Uh, like a temporary amount of time. I, yeah, see, I don't know why the glare immediately got like so much hate after the LA and Copper Golem were announced. And here's the thing, I didn't actually have a problem with any of the mobs this time around. I thought the Copper Golem was unique, and while I'm not much of a redstone guy myself, I could probably find a use for it eventually, and if not, I could always just have it hang out. Uh, glare, again, it, I'd probably have a little more, more use to it. The alley, I feel like I could come up with an interesting use to helping me gather things I drop, honestly. The mob was happening. For me, the, mob, the glare was more of a... You know how the glow squid is to me? That was with me and the glare. The glow squid was literal garbage. Like, here's the thing. Yeah, that's what I thought of the glare okay, during the mob. I hate me. Now, it's like, there's no possible use. Not as many as the alley, but still plenty. 
So, the Moo Bloom, I honestly, in back in the Glow Squid vote, I honestly had nothing against. I just didn't like bees. The Moo Bloom has done nothing to me. And it seemed like the guy who was uh, basically that Minecraft news station guy didn't was also was so sad about the Moo Bloom that it made me think, I kind of would prefer that over the Abomination mm -hmm. Squid. Ah, yes, Gizzy was probably the most advocate person. To vote and then he him. immediately went to say, hey, can I join Team Ice Lodger since my Moo Bloom's gone? <laughs> and my only thought was, join us. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure we were all, and uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure all of us were on Team Ice Lodger after the Moo Bloom was, was voted out. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I voted for the Glow Squid, not because I... Who are you? Not because, I, not because of the dream, but it was because I didn't really want another hostile mob. There was just so many already, and I was like, please no. Yeah, well... Too bad. We have nothing. Too bad. We're screwed anyway. We got we got useless squid. Me fair. I don't think my vote would have made a difference. At most, it would have tied it. Literally. Should have joined us. And um, well, actually, that does bring up a good question though. What does happen in the event of a tie? It'd be hilarious if they just added both mobs. Yes, that'd be epic. Oh, I, we should start a campaign for next Minecraft, uh, the next Minecon vote, and be like, let's just, let's just try to make everything in, as bad. Let's just try to make we'll, everything we'll, tied. We'll, we'll publicly say, Dream, you can rig the vote, but only if you rig it so that we tie the vote. Yes. Oh my Dream, god, that'd be hilarious. The vote. Get, it, uh, get it into a tie, see what happens, I wanna know. Uh, that would be... That... Only we gotta wait like 365 days for that, so... Probably more, depending on how the world is. Yeah. Uh, let me try to remember what I was doing. Oh, yeah, I need aluminum oxide. So I need aluminum. I found this buzzed, but I don't remember where I put it. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> I am an idiot. If I need all of the black antimatter, then I can get all of them. Oh, there's, there's your Twitch notification. Uh huh. It has arrived. Well, no, it's it's probably been there, and I just <laughs> I've been slightly distracted. Yeah, with this. Only slightly, though. 